What is going on everybody? My name is Alan and this is Project Elevate. Welcome to today's video. I want to give you guys some quick tips on adulting. I'm going to run through a bunch of stuff in a bunch of different categories. I don't want to get sucked into any particular category, but if there's anything you hear here that you're just like, damn, I really want to know more about that. Uh, let me know in the comments and while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, there's going to be a mix of this type of stuff and more video game related stuff, mainly centered on NBA 2K. Um, but we're going to include more of this real life stuff um, because I do want to help elevate you guys. That is what Project Elevate is all about. So anyway, let's jump into this quick tips for adulting. So first of all, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Um, you need to really curate your inner circle. Um, choose the people that you, you hang around, that you allow into your inner circle very meticulously. You got to be kind of like that bouncer at the, at the club. You're not letting certain types of uh, people in. And those people are people that just have like that negative vibe that just try to drag you down. Um, energy vampires are called sometimes. You just want to stay away from people like that. You know, you don't want to wish them ill harm. You just kind of want to let them pass on and leech onto somebody else. Um, be around people that have high vibrations coming off of them. We can get into vibes in a later chat um, if, if you guys want. Um, but basically, you want people that are more positive, emanating that love, that laughter. They're striving to improve themselves and they're willing to share that with you um, because they realize that, you know, <laughs> energy is abundant. The more good energy you kind of put out, uh, the more good energy you receive yourself. They just kind of have that part of life figured out. All right, so moving on, um, as you kind of get into adulthood, you really got to get to know yourself. And this is something that can be kind of a trap, but you have to understand who you are. So what principles do you stand for in life? Like what's really important? Where do you draw those lines? And that's going to change over time as you kind of get different experiences and see things from different perspectives. Um, I always like to hear other people's perspectives when they have a totally different view. And I just want to see if they have anything like backing up why they believe that. And sometimes those reasons are valid for them. And that's perfectly cool and more power to you. Okay, you also want to figure out a purpose, <laughs> you know, and this is one of those things. What is the purpose of life? Um, you know, and that could be a whole different thing for a bunch of different people. You know, that's something that you kind of got to figure out. Some people say there is no purpose, you know, but I think that's kind of a wasteful way to live or a freeing way, you know, whatever. But uh, for example, like me, I just feel that my purpose is to elevate myself so that I can help elevate other people. Um, that's kind of what I've kind of latched on to. And um, that's what gives me the most fulfillment, you know, when I can spread life experiences and somebody else can get something from that and improve, you know, their perspective or their open mindedness or whatever it may be. And just be better people. You know, they say, you know, it's very cliche to say, you know, be the change you see in the world. And I'm definitely still working on a whole host of things. Not perfect by a long shot. Um, but I definitely feel that when I'm helping other people kind of get to that next level, whether it's something simple like in NBA 2K, which is a hobby of mine or finances or just life stuff or whatever. Um, but they're getting some type of value and I'm kind of spreading on that knowledge, life experience, whatever that I, that I have had. Um, that's kind of something that really just fulfills me like deep down in the soul. So find your purpose, whatever that may be, hopefully something positive and meaningful, um, but try to figure that out. All right. So you also want to be intentional about the life you create. There's a whole, you know, whole world of like, you know, the secret manifestation, visualization, affirmations and all things like that. And I'm definitely in the camp that um, you kind of create your world, <laughs> you know, like in a weird way, you know, like you're Neo in the Matrix, you know, like you're a badass. You do your thing, man, like create the world around you. And one thing that kind of like differentiates people in life to me is you know, having a victim mentality or having a taking ownership mentality. And you have to understand that you are, you are creating your life. So you have to be intentional about what you're creating, the thoughts that are kind of flowing in and turning into, you know, your beliefs, your beliefs that are turning into actions, your actions that are turning into habits, your habits that are going to ultimately define your legacy um, in life and how your life plays out, you know? So 
be intentional about that. Realize that you have power to make changes. You know, now is a new moment. Now is a new moment. And now is another new moment. And at any one of those moments, you can decide to change your path that you're on. And maybe you're not going to change, you know, you're not going to teleport from here to there, but you can start walking in a new direction and be very intentional about what it is, whether it's your relationships, whether it's your health, whether it's your mentality, whether it's your finances, just be very intentional about the life that you create. Realize that it's you that's creating it. So that leads right into the next thing, which is level up like a boss, man. Go read some books. I, you know, I went, I've gone through periods where I've read, you know, tons of books, you know, like 30, 40 books in a year. Um, you know, they can be short things. Um, some of them are just filler. Um, it could be self-development stuff. It could be just some of the classic literature stuff that that's out there that never really wanted to read, but you get something from it. It could be biographies. Those are really cool to like, just kind of like pick somebody you look up to and just like listen to their story. You know, like I've read a uh, slashes biography, um, a couple on Jimi Hendrix, stuff like that. Um, so just things that are fun. There's a bunch on like sports guys, rock stars, um, scientists, presidents, whatever it may be. You know, it's kind of funny because somebody will spend their whole life acquiring knowledge and they manage to put it all in a book and you get to, you know, over the course of a couple of days, just kind of be privy to all that information that took them a lifetime of, you know, figuring things out to, you know, to acquire that knowledge and kind of piggybacking on that, develop an interest in just learning new skills, figure out a new skill, um, something that's going to be beneficial, something that's going to keep your mind occupied and kind of dive into it. Um, but the real, the real joy is learning how you learn and developing that little addiction to just like picking up new skills. There's a really cool feeling that you get from just learning new things and getting to that next level and building that momentum of accomplishment. Right. So that leads into finance like a boss. Um, first of all, checking account cushion. That's your first step, man. A good solid number is a thousand dollars. It can be 500 if you're just starting out, but try to get it up to a thousand dollars in the checking account. And that's kind of your cushion money. That's something that on a month to month, you can fluctuate a little bit if you need to, but you're going to replenish it, you know, come paycheck. And you're always going to maintain that thousand dollars there uh, for just your, your day to day living expenses. Next, you jump into an emergency fund. Emergency fund money is three to six months of your income. Whatever it is that you spend on a monthly basis to pay your bills to live, you want to have three to six months, ideally closer to the six months set aside. Now, this is a separate account, savings account, something you're not going to dip into on, on the daily. It's there for emergencies and emergencies happen in life. You know, you may lose your job, maybe between jobs. Um, you may have a car breakdown or whatever it may be that life happens. And most people bust out their credit cards, have that emergency money set up there. Once you have that set up, definitely get into retirement, long-term investing, man. I'm not talking about day trading, all that stuff. I'm talking about long-term investment in a Roth IRA. A basic difference between a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA. Traditional IRA uses pre-tax money, meaning you take a deduction off your taxes. It accumulates when you withdraw at age of retirement, you pay taxes on all the money that you withdraw. With a Roth IRA, which is what I recommend you do, you invest in it after tax money. So money that's free and clear, after you pay your income taxes, whatever hits your checking account, you invest that money. Now that grows tax free. You don't have to pay capital gains tax on it. You don't pay any tax on any money you withdraw. You know, once you start withdrawing after age 59 and a half, it's just a retirement account. It's sacred money. There's a really, really powerful thing when it comes to compounding interest over a long period of time. It's crazy how it will start to grow and double and double. Um, pop into one of my streams um, and we can talk more about this at length. I'm going to try to do some more just chatting streams, you know, intermix with with my other 2K related gaming stuff um, to, to kind of answer some more questions on this type of thing. But trust me, open up a Roth IRA account, start investing on a monthly basis, just a certain percentage of your income. Always keep that percentage as your income goes up, your amount will go up and forget about it. Forget that you have that account. It's just another monthly bill that you're paying to yourself. You're going to thank me in the long run. All right. So on the flip side of that, you want to avoid debt because compounding interest works against you just like it can work for you. Um, so protect your credit, man. Build up your credit. 
get a decent credit score and uh, protect that. It's going to help you down the line when you need to finance a car or a house or whatever. And it's simple, man. Just don't buy a bunch of stupid shit. <laughs> it's really that simple. Understand what factors into your credit score, um, debt and limit ratios, things like that. So if you have $5,000 of available credit, you want to keep that under 30%. You know, it's, it's really boosting that credit score. Obviously pay things on time. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it, man. Just don't buy stupid shit. All right, so let's switch gears a little bit. Um, just some quick grooming things, man. It's a little bit different for, for guys and girls. I'm speaking from a guy perspective, but it works both ways, man. Just simple grooming, your haircut, your facial hair, keep it in control, man. <laughs> like, I mean, I know certain st you have your own style. Some styles are long, whatever, but um, keep yourself groomed. Keep your facial hair like in check. If you have, you know, crazy man beard, um, you know, keep it brushed, oiled, whatever. Do your thing, man. But you don't want to just be like a total mess. Same thing with the haircut. Um, I mean, I, I cut my hair all the time. I've been cutting my own hair since I was like 12 or something like that. So it's been a long time of just, you know, saving money on haircuts and, and always making sure that I can have a, a fresh cut, you know, when I want it. But that's important, man. Those little grooming things, keeping your fingernails, toenails clean and cut. Those things stand out. It's going to make a big difference. It's going to separate you from your average guy when it comes to the ladies or whatever, or significant others or whatever it may be. And stay fresh, stay clean. You know, messy look is cool. Greasy look, not so much. You know, even you have your own style, do you? But just pay attention to your grooming, man. <laughs> like that's a, that's a thing that's, it kind of separates like the, you know, the smelly teenagers from an adult, you know what I mean? Like, so do your thing, man. Kind of on that subject, clothes. Do you whatever your style is that's cool but it's mostly about fit make sure your clothes fit you right um, spend a little bit of time getting to know like what your sizes are and uh, just buy clothes that that fit try stuff on make sure it complements like whatever your body type is um, it's pretty simple man do your style but just make sure the fit is the most important thing all right so moving on to fitness fitness is something that I mean I've always been athletic played basketball in high school and I've always had a lean build, you know, um, but it's been very difficult for me to, to put on muscle, put on weight. Um, so having a solid fitness routine is very, very important. And it all starts obviously with what you eat. So my philosophy has always been eat healthy enough to support whenever I want to like just go crazy on a pizza or some donuts or whatever it may be. I'm not going to, I'm not going to feel bad, man, because I eat healthy enough on the day to day basis that it just doesn't factor in. For some reason, people like have this conception that, you know, healthy food is just like nasty or it's plain or it's whatever. You can make so many good, healthy dishes for yourself, you know, develop some of those cooking skills, figure out a way to eat, you know, make things different ways. Um, so it just supports your kind of overall health and your physique and whatever. All right. And another part of this is, you know, try to wake up early, get your sleep schedule right, go to sleep at a decent time. And I'm terrible at this because I'm a night owl. All my creativity just kind of bursts to life at night. So it's difficult for me to, to wake up early consistently. Still something I'm working on. But I have noticed when I do wake up early, I'm talking about like I wake up at 530 in the morning, maybe meditate a little bit, read for a second or just go straight, hit the gym, um, hit it hard, come back. You know, my, my whole kind of lifestyle changes when I'm into that routine. Um, so waking up early is definitely a big benefit. And like if you listen to like anybody that's got like crazy success, they'll always tell you that's a huge component of them is to wake up super early and just kind of hit that day, attack the day before uh, most people are even up. So I encourage that even though it's one thing that I'm still, still kind of fighting with and uh, working on. All right, so learn the basics of working out. Um, just, you know, be familiar with certain exercises, the proper form of how to do that. Um, the form is way more important than the volume or the weight that you're pushing. Um, you gotta really, they talk about mind muscle connection. So you wanna, you wanna just really feel every contraction when you're push, when you're doing an exercise. The weight doesn't really matter as much. I mean, obviously you wanna increase weight resistance. Um, and there's a whole host of channels that you can get great information on. I recommend you go check some of those out, but build like an intimate relationship with those muscles as you're working out so that you're not kind of doing wasted motion for no reason. You're going to find that that's exactly what's going to actually cause change and growth in your muscles if you're trying to, to build muscle like that. 
Um, so just learn the basics about all that stuff. You know, the basics of nutrition, you know, the macronutrients, the mixes that you got to do with your carbs, protein and fats. Um, and the basics of supplementation, you know, getting a good quality multivitamin that supports your goals, you know, whether that's, you know, athletic performance or just, you know, heart health or whatever it may be, get something that's kind of tailor made for what your goals, along with, you know, rotate in some other, other natural nutritional boosters. There's a bunch of stuff out there. We can talk about that in, in chat if you want um, on stream one day, but get, you know, just get familiar with the basics of supplementation protein, creatine, etc., and tailor fitted to your goals. Um, so anyway, rounding out this video, another little tip, man, simplify life, you know, like minimalism, but not really, uh, because I mean, I like having stuff and there's, I think there's purpose for things. Um, I like buying new gadgets and tech stuff and whatever, um, you know, cause it's cool when it serves a purpose and sometimes it makes life really, really entertaining. Um, but with anything, you know, whether it's the stuff that you have or the commitments, the bills you have, you know, like having eight different subscription services and then it all kind of like snowballs out of control, you know, simplify life with your commitments, with your time, uh, with your relationships, um, all that stuff, simplify it to a point where it's manageable and it's the least stressful situation that you can put yourself in. All right. And lastly, I know you've all been waiting for this. This just kind of bombshell of a, <laughs> of a tip for adulting. Man, just wash the dishes as soon as you eat. Don't let them get caked up, piled up to the ceiling. Trust me, man, just use one plate all day long and just keep washing that thing over and over and over again. It Life is so much better when you're not spending it doing dishes, man. Anyway, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, man. Drop a like if uh, you got any value from any of that stuff. Come talk to me in the stream. I love to connect with more of you guys. Uh, my name is Alan. This is Project Elevate. Till next time, elevate your grind, your game, yourselves, and each other. Peace.